Welcome back. In previous videos, we've been looking at adding individual users. But what if you want to create 300 or 3,000 or 30,000 users? Well, Bulk User Creation via a CSV tool will help you out with this. And in this video, we're going to discuss how you do it. It is pretty straightforward, but then again, everything is if you've done it once. Let's check it out. Welcome back. We're going to talk about more user creation. This time we're going to talk about bulk user creation. Now, you can see I've got some users created here. They're all done with the add new user, fill in the little form that pops up. And that's great for a few users. But who wants to be sit there doing that for like 300 or 3000 or 30,000 users for a big enterprise? Well, you don't. We're going to use bulk upload. Right, we're going to use a CSV file, a comma separated value file uh, that people who use Excel and spreadsheet applications like Sheets um, will be very familiar with. So let's click on bulk upload of users. Now here you've got the little thing here, learn more, where it takes you to all the information uh, about how to do this. Very concise from Google. Uh, the formats, the files, what you have to do, uh, what you have to include. And the basic information is the first name, the last name, the email address, the password, and the organization unit path. Now, let's spend a little bit of time talking about that. We're not going to go into it in too much depth because I've got an entire section on organization units, but I do think it warrants a little bit of attention. So all you need is org unit, password, email address, last name and first name. And that's all you really need to populate a CSV file for bulk upload in G Suite. So let's talk, before we do any of this, about organizational units. So an organizational unit is a container of sorts, okay? For those of you familiar with Microsoft Active Directory, organizational units are there. Automatically, you get an organizational unit uh, created when you sign up and instigate your G Suite subscription. So um, mine is Collaboration Kernel. So my first organizational unit is Collaboration Kernel, which I get by default. Now, if you don't do anything here, then all your users will go into the default organizational unit. However, I have created a few. So all my users will go into a sub organizational unit called users. And then I've got two sub units underneath that called contingent workers for contractors and temporary workforce. And then also FTE users, which is full time employees, right? No problem there. So why have I done this? Well, you might not want all your contingent or temporary workforce to have access to all the G Suite applications that your full-time employees want to work for, like YouTube. Why are you paying contingent workers loads and loads and loads of money to sit there and have access to YouTube? If it's a valid training um, platform that you're using YouTube for, corporate YouTube for, then fair enough. Or you might just want them to have email, that sort of thing. What I'm saying is you can put restrictions on the OU containers to granularity is the key here. You can say who has what and who doesn't. All right, so that's why I've done this. So you may have different ways of doing it. This is how I'm gonna do it. So I've got my main OU collaboration kernel. Then I've got an OU underneath that saying users. And in that users organizational unit, I've got one for contingent and FTE users, okay? Right. And I say I'll cover OUs and organizational units in more detail in its own section. But I thought it was just worthwhile just to talk about this. You'll get the top one by default, and then it's up to you to create these. But you should be thinking about this and planning this before you start bulk creation of users or doing too much to your G Suite environment. So back to admin. Back to users. Right, now at the moment, all these are in the same organizational unit. Okay, brilliant. No dramas there. 
bulk up load of users as we saw we're going to attach a csv file but first off we need to download a blank template so there it is the csv template there you go users 2 all right so we're going to show that in its folder users 2 let's get delete all those other ones just in case don't have to that confusing things then we're going to use Google Sheets. Google Sheets is always there, right? So I've got, um, let's open, upload, select a file from my device, downloads, users to open. Right, so this will be a blank CSV file, right? So there you go, might be a bit difficult to read. I'll select the top section of this column and I'll put some text wrapping on so you can see what it's all about. So as you can see, couldn't be any easier. The words required, you guessed it, it's required. So we're gonna cr bug create a user. Uh, we're gonna call him um, Jeff. And then we're gonna say, bond and the email address will be Jeff Bond at collaboration kernel.com password now here's the key thing with passwords we're creating a user here we're creating users so there's no information for this user in the environment if we were doing a bulk upload just to change users okay and we didn't want to change the password you'd put in four asterisks that would tell G Suite that when you're uploading not to change the password so say for example we had a whole list of um, users here and we wanted to change uh, the work address okay well, we didn't want to reset everyone's password because imagine the amount of calls that would go to the help desk. We put the four asterisks in, the passwords remain the same, and we still be able to update all our user information. And we've got loads of stuff you can update here. Work phone, home phone, work address, employee type, employee number, all this stuff. We know from our organizational unit structure that we discussed early on in this video that we've got collaboration kernels, our top level OU, then we've got Below that users and underneath that we've got FTE users so Jeff Bond is an FTE user therefore we're going to put him in the FTE users organizational unit anything else all this information here might be a requirement in whatever country you are in for example um, building ID floor name floor section very prevalent within the US whereas emergency services will need to know exactly where an individual is to get to them in an office block for example employee IDs employee types all these stuff can be populated later on so we're happy with that um, everything's been changed and saved in the drive what we're going to do now is um, it's saved bulk upload one file we're going to download a copy just for completeness there it is it's downloaded what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our admin console. We're going to attach a CSV. Bulk upload of users. Open. It's attached. And then we're going to upload. Now, we'll get a message here. Processing bulk upload user information. An email will be sent to collaboration kernel. Info is completed. You can see see details. One row uploaded. We only had one row and we've got a log as well to say it's been successful. Now, what will happen is, we'll wait for that to be processed. There you go, there's our user, Jeff Bond. Now, we mentioned that some of this information could be worked on later. Yes, you can do. And you can go back and revisit the information here and re-upload it. Like I said, the password would then have to be Four asterisks, as mentioned here. 
if you are existing, updating existing users and you don't want to change their passwords, make sure the password column contains four asterisks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there you go. That's basically how to upload or bulk upload users in G Suite using the G Suite admin console. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. Leave a like and a comment. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.